Jared Poland Fronos Photo Dot com and it's time for a new top five, but I have a cold. Everything's caught up to me from the last three or four months of running around, I guess, the world. And, uh, yeah, I got a cold now. But anyway, it's time to bring you the new top five and the new theme and all of that good stuff. We were off for last week because I was at Photo Plus. That's why we didn't get to do a top five from last week. We extended it for two weeks. The theme was costume. The new theme going forward for next week for the weekend of the second and third is going to be smile. In parentheses, smiles. I'd like to see smiles. Whether it's an animal smiling, a person smiling, eyes smiling, things that smile. Let's be creative here. Let's post some images this week that are in that, that involve smiling. You can smile with your eyes. You can smile with your ears. You can smile with your pecs. Do whatever you want. But enter, please, because it's it's a good challenge. So let's go to the costume uh, entries and see what we've got. Actually, before we do that, let's see who won last week. By the way, we had a disqualification. It was brought to my attention that this photo was not the background photo was not taken by the photographer. They took the foreground one, I'm pretty sure, but the background was one from a tutorial online, and we can't use that because that is not their photo, so they had to be disqualified. So moving down here, oh, yeah, met this guy at the uh, photo plus, not the guy in here, but CeeLo, met him. The winner, 933 votes with 51% of the vote, 421 votes, was Harbor Photo, with this one of the girl just laying there on the log. Or on the banister thing. It's a really cool photo. I like this one a lot. Congratulations, you're winning a Black Rapid Strap. So is somebody who vo uh, who left a comment down here. They'll be notified in the, by their inbox in Facebook. And moving on to the top five. And I won't yell yet. I will wait to yell. Here we got Chad C. Very creative. Look at all these apples. I don't think you can digitally do that. It looks like they added all of these apples for real. For reals. Like, like for reals. For reals. Except for, I don't think they added the photo there. That's added later. And then probably added to the TV. But very creative. Nice job. I like it a lot. Apples. I don't know if it fits the theme, but it doesn't matter because there wasn't a lot of entries that fit the theme this week. Because there weren't that many entries that, I re that really grabbed me. Um... I had a tough time with the top five, even though it was two weeks and there wasn't terribly too much creativeness going on. And then we got Scott Crawford. Uh, this is a great shot. I don't know if it's cropped. It's hard to tell if it's cropped in this type, but this composition is spot on. This is what I look for in a photo. Look at the eyes. Look at the face. Look at the nice color. It's got a nice gradation going in, around here in this facial area. It's a nice image. Nice. It feels good. This type of, you know, I love, I like where the eyes are. We don't have the eye contact in this, but it works. I would love to see what eye contact looks like too, if there was another one like that. Then we got Sagger. I was drawn to this. I like the feel of it, that the road isn't in the middle, that it's over here. Are you coming? You going? Which way are you going? What direction are you going to choose? So I like the difference between the, the trees and the shadow and the highlights back here. Looks good. Nice job. And we got Dusky Cat 2. Little Red Riding Hood, didn't know she had a gun. I wouldn't mess with her if she had a gun because she'd shoot a big bad wolf. Oh well, what can you do? It fits the theme, it's a costume. I liked it. It works well. Nice job. Then we got Coops4551. Very subtle. It's like zombie apocalypse going on here, but is it really? I just think it's cool. I love the muted colors. Ugh. I like the nature of the feel of this. I love all the smoke and the fog rolling in. It just feels like a cool image. So those are your top five. Please vote down here for your favorite this week. Tweet it, like it, stumble it, tumble it, Google Plus it, or pin it, if people actually use Pinterest, because uh, I kind of don't. Um, but yeah, vote for somebody. Help them win a black rapid strap and maybe win one for yourself. If you don't have one, you can pick one up at allenscamera.com. They have them all. I feel like crap. Uh, even though I have a photo shoot tonight, which I'm going to go do. But yeah, so that's your top five. I've got a critique. It's very short. It's brief. It's concise. We'll be right back. Critique, like, like I said, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like 11 pictures I picked out of here for the critique. It was really, really, like there weren't a lot of images that really fit the theme. Not that you have to fit the theme, but there weren't a lot of images submitted this week or the, the prior two weeks. So, I don't know if costume was a hard 
topic or something, but again, this week it's going to be smiles that should be much easier for everybody to create. So let's go through this critique. This is an interesting shot. Of course, good looking girls do make shots better sometimes, but I didn't, I like what's going on, but she's not symmetric in this one. And I, and, and I just feel like she needs to be in the middle for it or fill the frame a little more. I mean, I love the background. I like the color. I like the tone. I really like what's going on. Kind of thrown off by the leg highs, which are hot as hell, but I don't know if it really works. It's the composition. I think if you threw her in the middle or horizontally, I think you would have done a little, I think I would have liked it better. What do I do go down? So this was creative. It's digital, but I, I, I like the creativeness of it. That's all I wanted to say. I like the creativeness of it. Um, this is cool. The Is it cropped? It's hard to tell. I, I think that's the proper aspect ratio. I'm going to sneeze at some point, but I think this is the proper aspect ratio. It just doesn't, it, it's good, but it's not good. And, like, it doesn't grab me fully. I don't know what it's lacking. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's sharp. It's hard to tell on a smaller print. It's good, but it's just missing something, and I can't put my finger on it. I'm just saying it because that's how I feel. Zombie, hello. Very good. This is close. It's good. Again, a little tighter on the kid. You get more of the, the, the feel of what's going on because the foot's cut off right here. I'm sure it's not the easiest thing to do with everybody walking, but really focusing in on maybe a little tighter, maybe getting just... You know, from here, a little bit of the, 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 the thingy thing, Halloween thing. Oh, boy. Here, here would be cool. I'm moving on. All right. That looks good. I didn't think it was, should be in the top five, but it, it looks good. That's for something else. That's for the raw edit of the week I need to do. Squirrel. White squirrel. It's a ghost squirrel. It's a ghost. I can't sneeze. That's a squirrel. And then there's another squirrel. And the falcon's like, what are you doing, squirrel? I will eat you if you fall and die. And the falcon's like, bah, bah. Uh, Little Red Riding Hood again. I like, the, I like the shoot. And I gotta sneeze, but I can't sneeze. I like it. I'd like to see the eye contact. The other one I picked because it had the gun. I thought it was cooler. Uh, but there you see that. Oh, I'm going downhill. This was creative. Really like what's going on here. Um, they shot from up in the stands with like a 70 to 300. And they weren't getting sharp images from what I saw from this, a couple that they posted. But I really think that this works because it's creative. It's playing with what you got to make it work. Nice job. Oh, that's not good. All the stuff went down my throat. Um, and then you got this girl. Then you got this compilation. I think these were probably all done with iPhones, but I like what this guy does. I met him in, in Manchester. He does a great job with these compilations. I believe he's a high school kid. Nice job. And then that's the last one. I got to go, guys. I got to shoot, and I got to – I don't feel good. So I may take a day off. <laughs> probably not, but uh, I can say it. I can say it, but I, I probably won't. New theme is – what is it? Smiles? Enjoy it. Please vote. Don't forget – Help somebody win a Black Rapid Strap. Jared Poland. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. Go away. Jared Poland. Fronosphoto.com. See ya. Are you subscribed yet on the YouTube channel? Well, click this subscribe button right here. Also click this box if you want to be emailed every time I upload a new video so you can get the latest video uploads as they happen. And also, if you haven't signed up for the free user's guide, sign up right here, put your name, email address in here, hit send it, you will get a free ebook sent to your email, as well as a link to a 60 minute long video on flash photography in the studio that Adam and I created. So please do that, and we'll see you.